Okay, this is my presentation for my persuasive, persuasive speech. Wow. Okay, I'm going to start. Okay, why relaxing video games are important for our well being. Um, so in our everyday media, video games get a bad rap. Um, especially for Fox News, they claim that video games are the reason that our generation is short tempered and easily addicted to things. Um, and they claim that 90% of teenagers play video games. And yes, while that's true, um, it's very generalizing. Like all teenagers, like you don't know what games they play. You don't know what tendencies they have towards playing these games. You don't. It's a bit, very up in the air. Um, and the way that that way of see that way of thinking seems to stem from the idea that there is only one form of gameplay entertainment, like I said. Um, but the truth is that there are many different types of games, especially relaxing games. So, yeah. Um, currently, the reason we need these relaxing games in our daily routine, maybe if you're into that, um, we face a lot of stressors, especially in this day and age. Um, obviously, things like we're staying home, we're dealing with more, like, unemployment, especially right now. Um, we need ways to cope with that um, in a positive and healthy way. So, if we are putting that stress out of our heads by playing games that allow us to feel less stressed or release some of our creativity, that would be a great way to release all that stress. Um, I, like from my point of view, being a psychology major, I feel really strongly about helping people um, reach their highest potential and um, just finding ways to feel better and finding ways to, you know, get the stress out of their mental space and just think more clearly and, you know, boost more creativity. So, okay, again, my thesis, um, relaxing gameplay is important not only for entertainment and well-being, but is a great stress reliever and helps boost creativity. Um, now let's talk about how video games can relieve stress. So, first, um, social, social psychological professor Brad Bushman at Ohio University conducted a study in January of 2012 on college students and how they react differently to um, maybe like a very relaxing, no stress video game, such as I have Endless Oceans um, by the mini game, in a mini game. Um, of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess um, and then they compared that data to participants that had to play a more um, violent um, like stress inducing game which is Resident Evil um, in conclusion their research concluded that both games had an opposite effect of pro-social and aggressive behavior. So that research study essentially broke down that like stress-free video games are going to be more, how would I say? Stress-free video games promote um, kindness towards other people and just more like, like stress-free behavior Versus, um, t at the end of playing Resident Evil, participants displayed more aggressive, maybe, like, antisocial behavior where they would not want to talk to others or, or just be more aggressive in general. So, that, those levels have, have, like, flopped for, or 
flip-flopped for each. <laughs> uh, for the next um, piece of material, I have a video on Animal Crossing Newly for Mental Health and Well-Being by this um, YouTube account by Screen Therapy. It was published January 27th of 2019. Screen Therapy discusses how Animal Crossing New Leaf releases stress in an, by incorporating this game into one's routine. So if you don't know a lot about Animal Crossing, it basically um, it promotes like using um, this gameplay as an everyday routine. So when you play, it's part of your life and for those who struggle with finding a routine and sticking with it especially people who are mentally ill and find it hard to even just to get out of bed it is very important for like instilling a repetitive behavior every day something you do that keeps you on track um also it talks about excitatory potential which means um it has to do with uh, action potential with your neurotransmitters in your brain, oh, sorry. which uh, like kickstarts stress. So um, when that is decreased, as the game does, um, you relieve stress more than you would in any other stress-inducing game or any other experience that induces stress. Um, for the next one, we have in a more recent look on ex on relaxing video gaming, Jessica Marie Shalock published a doctoral thesis in September of 2008 titled The Central Role of Stress Relief in Video Gaming, Motivations and Preferences. And it focuses a lot on relaxing gameplay and its ability to relieve stress. Um, so from pages 119 to 112 or what I'm going to be talking about here, um, this potential or this portion <laughs> focuses on gaming as a stress intervention in order to recover those who are dealing with harsh stress. She discusses that there is a causal relationship between gameplay and stress relief based on her own research that she discusses in her doctoral thesis um along with her own research study that she has per um conducted um that focuses on using perceived stress scale which is the pss-10 model and um, the positive and negative effect scale, which is P-A-N-A-S, um, to access the reactions of 80 participants who played Minecraft um, in peaceful mode. So there's no like attackers like there would be in the normal game. Um, the study concluded that the positive correlation in positive with a positive correlation affect decreasing stress. Along with Minecraft as an example, it can also affect creativity. So, um, Minecraft is like you build your own town, buildings, paths, anything you want, you can make it in the game. Um, so, it's really nice. I mean, I've played it before, but... Yeah, so an article on um, Science Daily article titled Wanna Boost Creativity? Try Playing Minecraft, um, published July 18th of 2019, discusses a research study that focuses on the effect of playing Minecraft versus playing a race car game has on creativity. So they said to the participants to draw a... Um, a creature from outside of this earth and what they measured was if the person in the in the drawing or if the creature or person in the drawing looked more like a human it would be a higher rating for less human looking and a lower rating for more human like um, figure 
So they actually found that um, Minecraft, like people were rated less on creativity, at, like those who played Minecraft, but those who played the, um, the race car game were more creative, which is interesting. Um, even the researchers were like, wow, that's really interesting. Um, but they said it's not just that Minecraft can help creativity. There seems to be something about choosing to do it that also matters. So, especially in this um, research where they just pair people up to play Minecraft, um, that would also be a contributing factor to the low <laughs> creativity they, you know, they did in their drawings. Next, we have a study titled The Benefits of Playing Video Games. Um, it provides detail on all positive psychological fronts of video gaming, more focusing on the cognitive side. Um, they performed a study on creativity in preteens, and they had a 500 participant sample of 12 year old students, and they said video gaming playing. Video game playing was a positive was positively associated with creativity. So, yeah, playing video games of CNT for creativity, especially with preteens, because they just tend to be more creative individuals. Um, it is assumed that creativity also involves the ability to problem solve. So, in the matter of making a plan, you know, evaluating your options, um, making the right decisions, like introspectively figuring something out also can be tied into creativity. Um, and in the same research study um, that I picked from the last one, it said that um, one study, well, there's not a lot of research that contributes to problem solving when playing games and its association with, um, you know, improving behavior or improving problem solving. But, um, before this research, they saw that before there was one, um, study that clearly showed, um, problem solving skilled increased or improved over the time of of like the longitudinal study longitudinal so they traced these participants over time and they were like healing this game and you know it would they would continue becoming more able to problem solve all right next we have the rebuttal um, okay, so video games, next is a debate on video games being a positive and negative experience. Um, the opposers of my argument might say something along the lines of, but if someone becomes too attached to video games, um, like what happens? Like what happens if you become too attached? And wouldn't there be a negative consequence? Um, it's a valid argument to make and, you know, video game addiction is becoming serious, but, um, the main statistic I'm focusing on is by this article titled The Signs and Effects of Video Gaming or Video Game Addiction, and it states 1-16% to 16 of video gamers meet a criteria criteria for addiction. And in my rebuttal, I said, um, like, it would be wrong to devalue people who deal with this stuff or deal with the inability to step away from video games and it damages their whole life. It's terrible. But with this um, statistic they had, it's a very low percentage of those who do play video games 
that 99 to 84% of people who do play video games do have the ability to step away whenever they want and, um, you know, what I say? <laughs> the moment it feels like you are dependent on video games, I suggested to, you know, talk to someone outside of yourself, make sure there is a plan or something to remove yourself from these negative addict, ne negatively, you know, negative things in your life. So, now what do we do? Um, so relaxing gameplay, it is extremely important for us, especially as young kids, to be able to express ourselves or just in generally, in general, play a relaxing game and just have fun with it and you know, feel better about whatever situation you're in. Um, and I said, now that now if you are feeling stressed or you know anxious about anything at all, or dealing with a mental illness that makes it really hard for you to you know do everyday things, maybe think of something you can do to relieve your stress. Um, so of course now is a great time, Corona, quarantine. It's a great time to start thinking of some games that can help you relieve your stress, because it's it's scary out here. It is really terrifying to you know deal with all of this stuff. So a game that helps you, whatever it is, it'd be great to incorporate in your life. So that is all. Alright, thank you. Can figure out the video in the beginning.